Well guys, today I'm gonna to be getting up my giant cabbages. I've been waiting till now because we've had all this hot weather, but it, it would have caused them to wilt. The only problem we've had is because I've kept them in the polytunnel for so long, they've got a bit leggy. Now, what we're gonna to do to combat that excuse the wind what we're going to do to combat that is we're going to plant them deeper we're going to remove some of the lower leaves and plant them a bit deeper and hopefully they'll root out from the stem there um, the holes what I'm putting in them this year is some um, compost here now normally I would put in a load of manure but I'm totally out of it this year so I'm going to use a load of compost we've dug a big deep hole as you've seen now this compost is made by clover it's uh, a good compost it's called mother earth and uh, i do like this compost now to make it rich enough i've got a little hole in this bag so i'm going to use that i'm going to put a load of sulfate of ammonia in here and i'm going to mix it right through and this is just going to provide a load of nitrogen now typically you wouldn't use this, but I'm gonna put in a bit of bone meal as well, not a lot, just a little bit. And that's just to help get these roots going because bone meal is really good for that. Now, we will be feeding these throughout the year. The other thing I'm gonna add is some 6X and some compost that I've mixed it with just to help me with amounts and uh, again, I'm gonna dig them right down into the root zone. So there's quite a lot of nutrition in this now for these plants. And as I said, I'm gonna create a hole there now because we've dug a nice big hole and we're going to, this is my giant cabbage. They are way behind what they were last year, but that's the way it is. And I'm gonna plant them quite deep. So I'm going to cut off this leaf here, this leaf here, and that leaf there. And then I'm going to plant them right up to this leaf there in the hope that it'll help stabilise the plant um, and keep the head low. And that's what we want this year. So what we've got to do now is try and get it out there now without breaking it. Look at that root system on there, guys. It's fantastic. Right. We need to dig this hole a little bit more. That should be perfect. I'm just gonna fill in around there with this compost. And really, bear that in and now pull this soil back around it now guys this soil I've not rotivated I've just literally dug it and as you can see some big clods in here as well I've got to break some of these up but um, for the for this particular task it's not an issue I'm really gonna anchor this down now with brassicas, you really got to firm them in, guys, because they do not like being rocked, and um, it can make or break a brassica. So I'm gonna bring in a lot more. There we are. So. That's the first one out. We'll build a support structure around this in a few weeks time. But um, what I want to do now is let the wind give it a bit of a, a rocking just to get it seated in. We'll give it a really good watering in a moment. And I've got another five to do, sorry, another four to do. So um, I'll get on with them now and I'll come back to you at the end.
Well guys, the weather's taken a turn for the worse. It's got really, really windy out here and these cabbages were bending right over. So I wanted to give them a little bit of protection. Now, as you saw, we had a bit of an issue with um, this cling wrap dropping down and bending poles and what have you. So I've put these frames in just to help hold it up. Um, it's gonna absolutely tip down by the feel of it at the moment, so, uh, but they're out. What we did on the top, we put a quite a heavy dusting of lime um, which will be taken down through the ground over time and I didn't incorporate none of that into the ground below but um, but we've put it on top instead so these will get a really good watering in now it's just starting to pick the rain so um, I'll, I'll water these but also the rain will do the job as well and hopefully these will come to something what we will do later on once these have established themselves a little bit we'll build a proper support frame for them and we'll do a video on that later on in the year if you haven't already guys click that subscribe button and the bell notification and that will tell you every single time we upload a video like this um, get yourself across to our website have a look around there and don't forget to give us the thumbs up on this video and the question of the day for this video guys is how many of you are growing giant cabbage or how many of you try to grow giant cabbages put your answer in the comments below anyway guys that's it from me i'll be seeing you in the next episode bye bye